What's up guys, this is Marcus from Studio One Expert, and today I wanted to have a look at using the replace event option, which is a drag and drop option that we have available in the browser when we're dragging files over. Okay, so let's have a look at this session here. We'll have a really quick look at what we're working with. I've got a basic loop that I've dragged in here. And then I've got a sample, a kick sample that I've tucked in underneath. Okay, so what I want to do here is I've got this, you know, place in a timeline where it should be, but what I want to be able to do quickly is to try out some different kick samples, but I don't necessarily want to have to edit them all out again. Okay, so what we can do is we can simply select all of these events here. There's a couple different ways to do that. One is by shift clicking any event on the track that will select everything. The other way that we can do it here, which is the way that I do it most of the time, is doing shift command A or shift control A on a PC. That will highlight all of the events on the track. Now, the next thing I need to do here is we need to determine which sample we have. So I've got kit01 hip hop underscore kick two. So I don't wanna drag that in. In fact, I wanna try this one over here. So what I'm gonna do is let's open up our mixer and I'm gonna hold down the option or alt key. And we just have to drag on one of these events and I've just replaced them all. So let's have a listen to that now. Okay, so I think that sounds much better. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna adjust the envelope while this is running. So let's zoom in a little bit here and let's just disable auto scroll. Okay, so that feels pretty good. Okay, so now let's look at another option that we have here. Close down our mixer for a second. Let's say that we were feeling pretty good about this. We've reinforced the kick, it's feeling good, but we feel like we wanna to go to another sample to add something different. Could be a little bit more thump, could be a little bit more high end, a little bit more punch, anything really. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do an option drag or an alt drag on this kick sample track just below, and it's gonna duplicate the track. Now what I can do is I'm basically using these events as a placeholder on the timeline because I've already done the work and mapped out where these kicks need to be, these samples. And now we're gonna do the exact same thing. And this time, let's go for a different kick sample. There's one option, there's another one here. Okay, let's go with this option over here. So I'm gonna take this file, gonna hold down Option, Alt on a PC, and let's just drag it here. And now I've reinforced this kick as well. So let's listen to these two together. Can blend them with the mixer. And then we can do the same thing here we can just adjust our envelope while this is playing. Okay, and now play everything together. So that's using the replace event function found within the drag and drop options when you're working with the browser in Studio One. Anyways, I hope you guys got something from this and we'll talk to you later. Cheers.